It is early in the morning. My garage is filthy. But my wife's just finished updating. And I should already have it. So let's see. Nice. Okay. Hold on a second. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The new software version 9.0. Says it introduces the touchscreen and Tesla mobile app design for an easier, more convenient driving experience. Looks like you've got combined auto steer and auto lane change. You've got some changes to the mobile app. You got the new application launcher, pretty slick. You got climate control, looks new. Your navigation is a little bit better. You use hove lanes for your map view, your traffic view. Media has some new features. Looks like your phone app as well. Controls are different. Obstacle aware acceleration and even Tesla Atari. Some of y'all don't even know about Atari. Some folks out there probably won't even know what Atari is. It's alright. Okay, so let's uh let's get to it. The new software version 9.0 just came in yesterday. It's uh 8.20 in the morning. Yes, I did get up to uh, check it out. And it's uh, it's pretty impressive so far. First thing I've noticed is that it's a lot snappier. It's a lot quicker than the last version. And I can appreciate that. So let's get in. Let's see uh, some of the new features, or at least how things look. So first off... Uh, you've got this launcher button. Um, anybody who's Android, shouts out to Team Android, uh, they know about having a launcher. So you can see your launcher here goes into your calendar, your energy, your web, your rear view camera, your phone, and charging. And I don't think I have my camera set or calendar but if it was there that's what you would get next up is energy energy looks about the same one thing I do notice is that there's a slight gap around the edge so it's almost like um, everything is overlaid on the map so the map is like your main default and then whatever you want in addition to that, shows up in the bottom there. So that's map. You can check out the web. Even the fonts are new. Looks like it takes you right to Tesla's webpage. That's pretty cool. What else do we have here? Here, backup camera. Of course, I'm in the garage, so nothing to see there your calls phone's not connected so I'm using the camera but that's what it would look like and your charging status almost got a full battery looks like I'm a little couple miles short but yeah even the you know the the fonts look a little different all of your menus look a little bit different. Uh, looks a lot, uh, a lot more familiar to anyone who probably has a Model 3. Uh, the few times I've been in the car, this is kind of what their display looks like. Only ours is a, you know, portrait, not landscape mode, but looks like the same type of layout. So here's what your standard 
media will look like. Like I say, it's most of the same information, just laid out differently. You can see where your device will be connected. This used to be a lot larger. Now you've kind of got a smaller section for your phone. You can see down here you've got some of your you know selections whether you want radio or streaming radio or uh, tuned in or search for any type of music pretty slick if we hit navigate let's see yeah so it used to be right down the middle of your page now it's offset to the left pretty slick there North Fresno collision We'll have to talk about that in another video. But yeah, it's pretty uh pretty slick. Let's see here. Charging. Pretty awesome. Always love having close proximity to the Fresno supercharger. So yeah, same information, just a lot quicker for one, and the font and layout's different. Pretty nice though. I do say I am impressed with this. Get your traffic layout, where you can get your traffic lines, like the number of traffic. You can see there's a little bit of red right there. Change your view. I like to leave it on the Earth view, but if you want it, you know, just standard Google Maps view, that's what it would look like. Pretty slick. What else is down here? Let's see. Okay, so it looks like your quick controls toggle. Has your exterior lights, whether you want your fog lights on open close all of your standard controls looks like display is at the bottom now I think it was at the top earlier but it's not bad a little charge port diagrams very model 3 ish but like I mentioned before it's much more responsive than it was on 8.0 doesn't look like any of the settings have changed doesn't look like autopilot I haven't picked up any new features as far as I can tell now, I do believe my wife's will be a little bit different um, and we'll do a full view on hers as well because she has autopilot 2.0 so I believe she'll have an update to where her autopilot uh, I believe it's going to use all of her cameras and also uh, give her some more features I believe with summon and, and auto parking but you know, it's pretty nice. I do want walk away door lock. That's new. Unlock on park. Child protection. Smart preconditioner. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Here's your display. All standard information. Just in the new layout trips look at that we're almost at 75,000 miles and we've got a video coming up we'll break down how much we've saved I did a check at about 60,000 I think it was and I was thousands of dollars ahead of what I would have spent with a regular ice vehicle um, so shout out to electric car efficiency Averaging about 357 watts per mile. So that's pretty good for a single motor rear version. But yeah, we'll come back to that later. Navigation. Okay, looks like you got a little slider for your volume. That's new because I think that was, I don't remember seeing that. Trip planner beta. Outline your routing. So that's good. I think that's new. Not new, but we had that before. It just looks a little bit different now. Online routing. And you've got use whole flames. We take that. 
allow me to reintroduce myself. Okay. Sorry about that. That's kind of early. Safety and security. Looks like it's the same. Power off. Same features. Just uh, laid out with the Model 3 look. And I got to say, so far, I am a fan. And service. Doesn't look like there's anything new there. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. Again, I like, I'm a fan of the look. Funny thing is, I just turned my wife's software update on. She's going to flip when she sees it. I'm going to see if I can get her to do a review of her autopilot. Or I'm sorry, her software update. Get a woman's perspective. I'll let her have her coffee first. I don't want to talk to her too much before she has her coffee but like I say ladies and gentlemen it's pretty good it is a very nice layout I like that launcher button I like that seat controls the same AC is all good you still have your volume over here on the side oh we don't want that fan speed turn the fan speed down Keep climate control on. That's pretty slick. So now your air is sort of off to the side here. That's pretty cool. Do that. Turn that off. Turn the AC on or off. Biohazard, just in case the zombies attack. What's this? Does that recirculate? Yeah, it's the recirculate button. Okay. Keep climate control on or off. All the basics here. But it's, you know, it's pretty nice. I must say I'm, uh, I'm impressed. So, just wanted to get a quick view. How do we get out of that? There. And it defaults back to the music. So it's kind of a, an overlay there. That's pretty slick. Wow. He is really doing a lot. <laughs> it looks like an old school arcade. You got the little controls and buttons. Let's see. Clearly this is a two-handed game. Let's see. Defending my city. My city's about to be destroyed. But that's a missile command. <laughs> oh yeah, so I just noticed up here I can't see it on the screen, but there's a I wonder why you can't see that. That's weird. It's a button here that you <laughs> you can you can't see, but I can. It says exit, and you've got full screen view. Entering. There we go. Entering full screen mode. So there are the buttons I was talking about. Maybe the screen's just a little too bright. Entering full screen mode. Oh, full screen video games. Looks like you have to double tap the screen to get out of it. And let's see if I can see this here. So this little section right there. So you can see it's a drop down. You got Lunar Launcher, Miss Command. Oh, Centipede. I remember Centipede. Ah, uh, yeah. Old school at its finest. It's pretty cool. So this is your Atari, uh, Atari screen, Atari land, Atari Tesla thing is what it was called. Pretty cool. We'll have to play it a little bit when I get some more free time. Shouts out to Tesla for the entirely new user interface completely changed the software on the car and I'm appreciative.
I'm a fan. I like it. Um, I'm sure there's some more features on here that I haven't had a chance to really mess with. Uh, so that's your full, full maps view in case you don't have any launcher going. I think we'll keep music on there though. But again, it's, like I say, pretty nice. Much faster, a lot snappier than previous versions. Everything kind of jumps out faster than it did before. We're good. So this is a quick view, quick preview of the software version 9.0. Everybody probably has this. I don't know if it's... I know they said it was going to roll out to everyone. I got it late last night. And I jumped on to get my uh, update. And it was done in about about 30 minutes. Didn't take too long. And I got up this morning because I wanted to see it. So hopefully everyone is waking up to this. If you're not waking up to it, you probably will have it soon. But again, this is it. Drop me any questions you have in the comments, any concerns. Let me know what you think. I like it. Maybe there's some uh, old schoolers that don't. They want to keep the classic Model S version. Me personally, I'm a fan. I like it. Way to go, Tesla. Let us know what you think. Thank you again for stopping and checking out the ITS YouTube channel. And we'll be back in a little bit. Peace.